since Christmas is here, I figured I'd put a TIE fighter on my chest. Tew, tew. Um, I was just thinking about veganism. Uh, I, I, who was it left a comment on my video? Sorry, man, let me get your name. It was some cool name like Soul Solaris talking about the universe. But I was just making a video talking about mentioning that carnivorous creatures might exist. And he was like, oh, that's not about veganism. It had nothing to do with that. Um, I think that adding vegetables to a carnivorous diet would actually improve brain function. Uh, that's why you see dogs eating spinach and shit, because they're not carnivorous. They're omnivorous. Carnivorous things purely eat meat. It's not, I don't think it's very common. Um, and it got me thinking about my own personal health and my own tactics. And so I'll share some of them with you. I have been fasting lately. Uh, intermittent fasting is more accurate. And what that means is I think that you have like, you know, there's, there could be rules restrictions, but you basically don't eat for like 16 hours a day. Um, and, or, or what I do is I drink coffee. It'll be like coffee fast or something like that. So I, I if I, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but when I need to get healthy, I just stop eating and I'm able to digest like the food that's been in my body for the last two days, three days, five days, seven, nine days, 20 days, 50 days. How long does that shit stay in your system? And then it, it'll be like, this isn't nutritious food. And you're like, oh, you know, that feeling of weakness when you're like, you can tell you're not empty, but you don't have, you're not getting the right energy from it. You're not getting the right vitamins and stuff. And then it's like, oh, that's, I know that feeling from like eating a lot of bread Then you're full, but you're like still hungry because you're hungry for the nutrition. So you'll be fasting and you'll feel that hunger for the nutrition. And you just, you own your body. So you just make it, make it, make it last. And you command your body to feel the discomfort. And my theory there is one way to look at it is that, look, the universe is unforgiving. Thank you, Eric Weinstein, for reintroducing me to the fact that more people need to be put in touch with the unforgiving because the universe will eat you if you let it. And so it's a discomfortable place. It's not a comfortable, gravity is fucking painful as fuck, although we're pretty much desensitized to it for the most part. I mean, it hurts, it hurts. And uh, life is not comfortable. Life is really, there's a lot of discomfort. So what's my theory is either you're gonna put discomfort on yourself or someone else is gonna put it on you. Some outside force is gonna come along and make you discomforted stuck comfortable so that you have to change the situation. And the reason I say that is because I notice when I'm fasting and I'm, I'm uncomfortable and I, I want to change things because it's, it's when I get comfortable, I don't want to change stuff. I mean, I'm totally fine, totally comfortable, relax, just sitting, you know, just existing. Oh, well, but when I'm like, I get started to get agitated, like, and then along with that comes clarity of mind, which is very useful. I don't know if it's the, the, uh, what exactly is causing what 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 about fasting is directly related to me being able to think clearer it might be like um cholesterol like in the brain that's clogging up thought patterns or like it could just be a magnetic thing because i know your, your neurons are magnetic and there's a lot of magnetic chemistry in your gut um a lot of like crazy magnetic neural activity in your in your stomach and the system's ultimately related so that propensity to change along to want to change the, situ the uncomfortable situation along with the clarity gives me it makes it I make more intelligent decisions of how to change the situation and then if I can extrapolate that to our society I think that's a better way to help the world than virtue signaling or whatever like eating crappy food sitting back and complaining about something that you think is hurting someone else's feelings like for, for instance baby it's cold outside this this Christmas, I guess it's, a, it's a, a winter song about a guy that wants to fuck this chick. They've been like hanging out and she's like, I gotta go, I gotta go. And you, she likes him, but she doesn't want to fuck him. It's before like birth control was invented really, the pill was invented. And she's like, no, the answer's no, I gotta go. And he's like, baby, come on, stay inside with me. It's hot, it's cold, come on, let's get, let's fuck. And she's like, no, I said no, like already four times in this song. And he's like, yeah, but let's fuck. And it's, it's pretty disturbing at that. If you take it at face value, it's kind of like blackface. Um, and so a bunch of radio stations took it off the air this year, but really yeah, like I've been talking with my friend about it and I think that that might be misplaced energy because you could be rather than complaining about baby, it's cold outside. You could be writing a song and that's the smart way to change the world is to create better things 
Well, it's a smart way to change the world, and that comes with clarity of mind, which comes back to fasting, which I tell you what, man, as much as I don't understand the world and reality, and I'm reticent to say that this is, because I don't know, I do know that fasting has a deepening impact on my physiology that is very beneficial when you use it right. Just give it a chance. Let me know how it goes for you. I love you. I'm just talking to a camera at this point. Get it on.